We are going to give you some interesting facts uh, about Malaysia that we have compiled. Okay, well, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, even though it's not about Malaysia. Even though we don't even know what number we're on. Now we can be at number 14 now. We don't know what number we're on. It kind of as a sub note of the list. Look at this beach. Yeah. Too. Look at him doing the advertising for me. He says the chair is not for free, but yeah. what about the hammock? Is the hammock free? Yeah, it's so free. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Only for you. <laughs> good morning, guys. How are you today? So we're just on the rooftop of our hotel. I'm just going to show you the view. Um, we haven't gone out and about and done very many excursions yet while we've been here. Uh, we have our friends that are coming that we met um, when we were in Jakarta. So they're arriving today, which is super exciting. So you'll see them over the next week with us. So we decided to put off doing the cable car and some other activities until they get here. Hi, we're Jen and Leon. We've been traveling the world full time for over two and a half years now. This summer, we are planning to do a daily vlog for you from the different areas that we're visiting throughout this summer. And currently we have been in the country of Malaysia for two weeks on the island of Langkawi. Okay, so here we are at the swimming pool for our hotel here at the Royal Agate, right in Sinang Beach in Langkawi. Yes, uh, and the, the pool's just reopened as well, actually. <laughs> So when we got here, they were like doing some maintenance and here it is. And we have a dedicated Malaysia page on closerlives.com and you can find uh, blog posts on there and also some uh, information. Upcoming blog posts. Just walking today, showing you a little bit around and giving you some interesting facts that we've learned and we'll show you what we see along the way. So what you see right now is the main uh, Sinang walkway beach. I think we showed you a little bit in another video. Um, but this is basically the main strip here near Sinang Beach. All right, I'm going to start with a number one. A number one is La. Seems like people in Malaysia like to say La. Um, uh, for everything. It's like they'll say something and then they're like La. No. La. La. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, thank you. We're uh, good for not, today. Not for today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm from Canada and uh, we say A all the time. So I think. That. No, he didn't say that, no. He just wanted to sell us something, lah. Like that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so maybe you can you can help me. Yep. So you guys say la. La. All the time, right? Yeah. You're talking, you say la. 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 So what, what does that mean? Is that just like saying that's it? Oh, you la, know? la. Yeah. Let, let the small uh, speaking. Yes. Let's like speak. Yeah. Oh, okay, la. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the plus, the last the title. Ah, okay. Because I'm, I'm doing a YouTube video about uh, things about Malaysia yeah. that I noticed. I was just ah, talking about yeah. last, so. Yeah. You, you, anything you go anywhere, uh, you say, okay lah. Uh, okay oh, la. Everyone, oh, you can speak Malay. Okay lah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you. All thank right, you. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. Day. You too. Bye-bye. There you go. Fact number two is... Malaysia has a population of uh, just over 34 million and is a multicultural country. There are 13 states, um, three uh, federal territories, and uh, we are in one of them here in Langkawi. We are. So when a guy offers you a tour and he has a t-shirt that says, fire, <laughs> what do you do? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Will you let me just do your parasailing? Not today. We have we nice ha memory. Not yes, today. well actually our friends are coming tonight. Oh, okay. So maybe tomorrow. We have some friends that are YouTubers, okay. yeah. so maybe we will all do it together. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Alright, so let's go to the beach and talk about point number three. So for fact number three, in continuation of the uh, multicultural point from the last one. Um, so there's quite a number of, it's a diverse population here. There is uh, many Malay, uh, there's Chinese, Indian and indigenous groups as well. Um, and this has influenced various parts of Malaysian society, such as the language, the cuisine and the mm, traditions. And cuisine. you can certainly see that as you go around. I mean, even just here, there is all sorts of different restaurants, cuisines, um, many people that we have met while we've been here. Um, so we can certainly see that in the culture. Pretty awesome. Oh, we didn't even walk this way before. Yeah, huh. we, we haven't walked this way, so. Yeah. Okay, and number four is that in 1987, um, Langkawi, the island of Langkawi here in Malaysia, which is where we are right now, hello. held, hello, hello. hi. 
held uh, the very first um, coconut climbing competition. Coconut tree. Coconut tree climbing competition. And if you guys have ever seen a coconut tree, they go like, they're very like a limp. So that would be fascinating to see. And it was supposed to be held on July 29th here in Langkawi this summer, but they canceled it and we're actually here until the 30th. So I guess that means next year we're gonna have to come back to make sure we see it. And just in case you were wondering, the first winners of that competition were the country Sri Lanka, which yes. we actually haven't been to yet. All right, so fact number six is number about six. cuisine. We all love cuisine. Mm. Um, we've been thoroughly enjoying the food here in Malaysia. And uh, it's, it's very well known around the world for its delicious cuisine. Um, popular flavors um, and dishes include nazi lemak. Nazi lemak, uh, we like some nazi lemak. Of course, it's coconut rice dish with various accompaniments. Which unfortunately, does... Leon mm. cannot enjoy very much because nope. he has a slight allergy to coconut, so, but I can. Yeah, and it, it varies as well. It's not always the same. Wherever you go, there may be slightly different condiments and so, so on and so forth. Um, other dishes which we tried, um, satay, uh, chicken satay, mm. lamb satay, beef yes. satay. Very, All very the nice. Satays. Very good. Mm. Um, this one here, roti kanai, um, we haven't actually yet fully tried. We did have a little bit of a taste of it the other day with our breakfast buffet at the Royal Agate. Um, but it's like a, um, like a flaky Indian style bread with curry sauce yeah. uh, on it. Um, we'll be so, sure yeah. to try that when we, want we get into go, the yeah. city. We are going to be here in Langkawi for another nine nights and then we're heading to Kuala Lumpur for a week. So Indeed. we'll try it then. And uh, if you want to know about any other cuisine, check the comments in some of our Malaysia videos. People have been really recommending some amazing things for us. Yeah, so, and also uh, on that out. note, check out our night market video where we actually walked Indeed. through the night market here in Langkawi and we tried a lot of great things. So you can check that out too. Look at him doing the advertising for me. <laughs> yes, and if you're enjoying the video so far, you know what you could do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. It really helps us bring more content to you guys and we are planning to do so all summer with a new video every day about travel, lifestyle, culture, humanitarianism, you name it. Hello, sir. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this isn't really on the list, but I'm just gonna put it kind of as a sub note of the list. Look at this beach. <laughs> The beautiful. sand, this, the beaches in Malaysia are absolutely incredible. The white sand beaches, the archipelagos that you see behind, which there are 17,000 of, by the way. And yeah, okay, on to the next point. All right, next point is that uh, the country here in Malaysia is a significant producer of palm oil. Um, and also rubber and tropical fruits such as the Marmite uh, fruit of uh, durian, which we have yet to try. You have um, to try. Oh, oh, it sounds like Leon has some plans to try. Not, oh, you said yet not, to try. Not oh. a chance. Jen see, loves see, fruit. See, in American, so in American, <laughs> in American English, if you say yet to try, it means that you have intentions to actually try it. So. Yeah, not a chance. But um, also other fruits such as mangosteen and rambutan. And uh, Malaysia is often referred to as the land of the palm oil tree. So that's the fact we have here. If that is not correct do let us know in the comments but that's what we said okay so the next point leon's going to talk to you about is the climate and i just wanted to mention so we're here in july which is technically considered the off season for the island of langkawi but it is really beautiful the weather in july i um, mean we do get little periods of rain but it does clear up and you get the blue right. skies so i just wanted to mention that all right so this is point number nine uh, yes so um Malaysia does have a tropical climate and the climate does kind of range uh, in temp temperature from 25 degrees which is 77 Fahrenheit to uh, 35 which is 95 Fahrenheit and um, it, that's throughout the year. Um, it does experience slightly cooler temperatures in the highland areas but generally it's very very consistent and um, the only thing that may vary is the humidity which depends on the rain of course. This looks like a really nice restaurant. Very nice. All right, and on to point number 10. Dun, 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 dun. I think we're on 10. We could be 11, but we kind of lost. No, I think we're 10. Okay. Leon's lost, not me. <laughs> if not, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So um, Malaysia is, is known for its vibrant festivals as we walk past some wonderful art. <laughs> um, we didn't so even plan that. <laughs> one of the most important festivals is the Forgive my pronunciation, the Hari Raya Aidil Fitri, also known as Eid 
Al Fatir, which marks the end of Ramadan, Ramadan. Mm -hmm. and is celebrated by uh, Muslims and uh, the religion of Islam across the country. Um, um, cultures in the world. <laughs> we have a little rude kitty cat sleeping over here. Look. Okay, we'll definition. leave him alone. <laughs> He's comfy. Well, maybe maybe he did this the night before. <laughs> maybe that's why he's so relaxed over there. Who knows? So, number 11, if we're on number 11, is about sports. So, if you can't hear us, we're going to speak really loud. We're near the water. We just figure we get some sports behind us. They have jet skiing here in Lane Cowie. They have the parasailing here in Lane Cowie. And lots of fun stuff. All right, but what's the most important sport here in Malaysia? Well, I would say that would be the national sport of Malaysia, which is sepak takraw, a game played with a rattan ball where players use their feet, knees, chest and head to hit the ball over a net. It's similar to volleyball, but without using the hands. Mm, okay, so what I want you guys to let us know is where is the best place to go and see that? Yes. Because I, I love sports. We love many different sports, especially football. Come on, Arsenal. you Arsenal. Even though they had a really bad friendly game this morning that we got up at 5 a.m. Yeah, to a watch, but we won't talk game. about that. No yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, actually, I'd be very interested in to see uh, a game like that. So if yeah. you guys would let us know in the comments below, uh, the best place to go see it if there's a national league and uh, maybe we can get some tickets and go see a game. Okay, before we get on to point number 12, I just wanted to point out right here, if you guys can see, this is the Baron Hotel. Um, so when we were down staying in the Kua area, which I would highly recommend to visit, the night market is over in that direction. Um, there's many geoparks and park walkthroughs. We've already done some videos on that, so please check it out. Also, the Eagle Maha Square. Towers there, the Eagle Square, um, the main jetty point is there also. But yeah, we stayed at the Baron Hotel in the Kua area, and it was right on the water. Super beautiful. We tried two rooms and really loved it. So, what are we on to now? All right, Number so now we're going to talk about significant contributions to the field of architecture. So, uh, yeah, we've all heard of the uh, Petronas Towers, obviously in Kuala Lumpur. However, there are other impressive modern buildings here in Malaysia. Uh, the Islamic-inspired Putra Mosque in uh, Putrajaya is one of them. And also, uh, many people may not know about the colonial era structure, structures that are in Georgetown, Penang. Um, we wanted to go there. We may still do that if we can, uh, if we can arrange. And um, of course, uh, the architecture everywhere is nice, but uh, Georgetown is somewhere we really want to go. Yeah, definitely. And also, I want to mention, uh, in regard to the Petronas Towers, what a lot of people don't seem to talk about is the Merketa Tower, which is actually the second largest tower and building in the entire world. So the other one is really cool because it's twin towers with the bridge, but this, the other building, the Merketa Tower, is like literally only one behind the Khalifa Tower mm -hmm. in, um, uh, where's that tower? In, uh, in mm, Qatar. Forget. Doesn't matter because we're talking about Malaysia, but, but you know, yeah. So definitely tons of different types of architecture and styles to see here. You can see it um, infused throughout what we've seen so far. But yeah, all right, all right. Well, so UAE, yeah, UAE, I think, yeah. Let's yeah. just call it UAE. Why, yeah, but I don't want to say the wrong place, so let's leave it at Cut. that. And there's also <laughs> banana boats, which are super fun that you can ride on here. And hammocks, you can chill out in hammocks over there. Are you nice and relaxed? <laughs> I, I see your sign says the chair is not for free, but yeah. what about the hammock? Is the hammock free? Yeah, it's so free. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Only for you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have our last point to make as we head down to the point of the beach. Oh, I didn't get a chance to say the penultimate point. You know, I love that word. You just did. <laughs> Inside it. No, but this is it. the final point. I should have said that. Penultimate. On the last one. Oh yeah, I remember when I first met Leon. I was like, "What the heck does penultimate mean?" It means like the second last. But... Yes. Well, that could be the thirteenth fact. There you go. Yeah, even though it's not about even though we don't even so know what number we're on. Now we can be at number fourteen now. <laughs> we don't <laughs> know what number we're on. So the final, our final point about Malaysia is the amazing, incredible landscapes that you can find on islands around the country. Um, there are the Cameron Islands, 
uh, which we have on Cameron Highlands, should we say? Cameron Highlands, that's the tea farms, right? The tea plantations. Yeah, yeah, those are. That's very cool. I think, like yeah. it's up in the mountains type thing. Absolutely. We've and we've uh, heard to, that it's a good spot to visit, so it's definitely on our list. Yes, I think we got recommended by one of our uh, viewers, so thank you for that. Many viewers, um, thank you. Also, uh, the beautiful uh, Parhentian or Parhentian Islands, uh, also known for their crystal clear waters and marine life. That's another a place that we want to put on our list. Not this visit. We won't have time yeah, because it's too far visit. out. But we plan to be back, of course. But of course, then there is Langkawi. Case in point. <laughs> so yes. We um, love Langkawi. And you know, um, we know that we're blessed. Um, and it's a real honor to be able to travel the world like we do. We do enjoy traveling slowly. Some people might say to you, oh, just go to Langkawi for three days or just hop there really quickly. Um, and if you're in a time crunch, sure, do that. But there's lots to see here. Uh, we still haven't even gone and done the cable car or seen the waterfalls. Uh, we still have two other accommodations that we're going to. So we think Langkawi is absolutely beautiful and definitely, definitely worth a visit. Okay, so we've just stopped after that power walk along the beach to the local Starbucks here in Langkawi. It is located in the Sinang Mall right here on the Sinang Strip just off of the Sinang Beach which is just right there. And now we're going to get a refreshing coffee and go back to the room get this video ready for you guys. <laughs> okay so as we are editing videos um, something has come to our attention and what is that Leon? I don't know what it is but it's so Hard to demonstrate. Open, open them. Here. Open them. Like, this is not just a Malaysia thing. This is Eastern Asia. Open. If they don't open, what? You actually need a tool. You need like scissors. And hotels don't usually have scissors. Oh, get it? Nope. First time in a Starbucks here in Malaysia. Hello. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Oh, oh look, they have a sausage roll. Oh, okay, done. I am getting a Aussie sausage mushroom roll. Can I get one of the mushroom rolls there, please? A sausage roll? Wow. Yes, please, thank you. Mm. Take away, please, yeah. That's my lunch started. And uh, thank you for listening to these uh, daily interesting facts. We hope you found them interesting. Yeah. Uh, also, just to let you know, if you are planning a visit here, on closerlives.com you can also find many things to know, important things about um, uh, connectivity in terms of Wi-Fi, yep. health and safety, yep. transport, customs and traditions, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, like so, uh, attire, uh, whether yeah. they tip or don't tip in the country. So definitely take a look at our website for that. And uh, thanks for joining us on this, you guys. Um, we're really happy to be doing this. We're trying to make every day a new day for not only ourselves, and you guys, and we're learning every step of the way. So Indeed. that's Jen and Leon. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, probably with our friends. Yay! Bye. Bye.